Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra and have a wonderful day. In this video, we will be discussing about lead code problem number 6 to 3, unique paths 2. In this problem, we are given a M cross N matrix and we are also given obstacle at some point. And this will be the starting point and this will be our ending point. The starting is always at 0, 0 and the ending will always be this point which is M minus 1, comma N minus 1. Okay. Now, there are few obstacles in the path, which means you cannot travel through these obstacles. And these obstacles are indicated by the number 1. And 0 indicates that there is no obstacle. Okay. Now, we have to find all the unique paths starting from this point and ending at this point. If you look at this example, this is the only path and these two are the only two paths that will actually lead from the starting point to the ending point. All the other paths since this is at the center will have an obstacle and those paths will end. So the answer in this case is two. Similarly, if we look at this example, this is the only path that we can travel and it is given in the problem that you can either travel right that is, you can go in this direction or you can travel down. These are the only two directions that we will be able to travel. We cannot travel in any other direction. Sorry for the interruption, but I have a very quick announcement that we are conducting a binary search workshop on August 13. And in this workshop, we will be discussing from the fundamentals of binary search to very advanced level in binary search. Not only we will be discussing problems, but more importantly, we'll be discussing about problem patterns that get asked infrequently in interviews. So if you are someone who is interested in this workshop, I have mentioned the link in the description. Do consider joining the workshop. Now let's look at the quick observation and the approach that we can draw. Let's take an empty matrix where there is no obstacle and see what observations we can draw. Now, say you are here. What are the two options that we have got? Either we can go down or we can go to the right and land at this place. But as say as soon as you land at this place, what does this problem get reduced to? This problem get reduced to a matrix of 2 cross 3. That is, once you have landed here, you have no option of going back. We have no option of going back. Similarly, once we have landed down, we have no option of going down. So where is this leading us to? This is leading us to a recursive approach or we can call it as a dynamic programming approach. So that is where it is leading us. But since there is an obstacle, since there is an obstacle, what we can do is if any path leads to that obstacles, we have to stop there. We should not proceed from that point. So those are the quick two observations that we can draw. Now let's look at how we can actually build the solution. Let's take an empty array and try to build the solution. Let's take this example only. First, we will build for an empty array, empty matrix. So this path, we are at this path. Now, how many options are there that you can come to this point from anywhere, there is only one option, right? That is, you can come from this square. Other than this square, there is no other option. Now, let's pick up a random square in a matrix. Let's say this. Now, how many options does this have? Either it can come from this or it can come from this. So, what we will be doing at every point, we will look at the left and we will look at the top and how many ever paths are there, we will be adding those paths. For example, this will also be one and one and one right now for this for this it will look at the top and it will look at the left and it will write two. what does this mean this means that there are two paths to this particular point that is one from the left and one from the right similarly if you look here there will be three paths it will look at top from the top there is only one direction that it can come but from here since we can come to this point only in two different ways to this point it will be two plus one so it will be three so in total three similarly here also it will be three and finally here it will be six now this is the unique paths if the given matrix doesn't have any obstacles now let us write that with the help of an obstacle okay so let's take a three cross three matrix once again and it will go the same. 
that is since there are no obstacle here 1 1 1 and 1 1 now since there is an obstacle here do we have to do anything no right why because you cannot travel to this no matter what so it will remain as a 0 it will remain as a 0 now what will this be this will again be 1 because 0 plus 1 similarly here also 1 plus 0 it will be 1 finally we will have 2 and that was the expected answer so the first step is we will fill the top layer the second step will we will fill the first column then even if there are obstacles on the first path we will stop there that is anything from there will have zeros for example in the top layer itself in the top layer itself if there is an obstacle here can you go to any of this so all of them will be zeros and zero similarly on the first column as well if there is any zero all of them will become zero and the formula remains the same that is in this table what we will do while filling up the table we will fill it from top to right and we will go from this direction we will go in this way of filling the matrix so that will be our approach let me share the pseudo code we first initiate a DP matrix of the same length and what we will be doing first we will be filling the top layer that is the top row and the first column right now we use the simple formula that is we are looking up to the left and we are also looking at the top and we are filling these values right so finally but one additional case if and only if there is no obstacle only then we will be adding this if there is an obstacle we will not be adding this and it will remain as a zero and finally we will return our answer and there are a few similar questions that i would like to share and this is one of my favorite problems and this is a hard level problem but it uses a similar approach if you are interested please do solve this problem and we have a dedicated telegram group where we will be solving similar problems so do consider joining the telegram group thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe